Well, g'day. As you know, I'm JB, and after a successful first season of 4x4 Adventure Club, we had a lot of inquiries on uh, the types of modifications our members have done to their four-wheel drive. So for season two, we thought we'd start out with a, uh, a new segment called Members Rigs. I'm going to kick it off with my 1996 Toyota Land Cruiser. It's a 4.2 litre diesel. Uh, with an aftermarket DTS turbo and cross-country intercooler running just a modest 12 psi. When I first purchased the vehicle in 2013 it was relatively stock standard. Uh, it had the standard ARB bull bar. It did have a rear locker, uh, dual batteries and the uh, turbo and intercooler was already fitted but outside of that it was pretty much a clean canvas for me uh, to start uh, the build of the full drive that I wanted. Uh, first up what I did was um, got some custom bar work done from Bitters 4 wheel drive. Uh, they uh, did the front bar which integrates into some scrub bars uh, running down to some rock steps and um, also uh, matching uh, with the, the rear bar. Uh, they uh, put the two swing out arms on uh, holding the uh, spare wheel and the extra jerry can holder. One of the other upgrades I did to the vehicle was the suspension, upgrading from the 2 inch lift that it had to a, a 3 inch lift uh, using uh, Old Man Emu shockers with Pro Ride Springs, uh, which hails my uh, 295.80 R16 Cymex centipedes. On top of that, as mentioned earlier, it already had a, a rear locker, so uh, I uh, installed a, a front front air locker so now it's twin lock front and rear ARB air lockers. The uh, other accessories I've added to the vehicle is uh, upgraded to a new uh, 9,000 pound King 1 winch running 9,000 pound Denema rope. Uh, it holds uh, two 7 inch penetrator LED driving lights and a 32 inch light bar across the top uh, also holding the uh, GME UHF aerial. On top of the vehicle I'm running a, uh, a rooftop tent style roof rack which also holds an additional jerry can uh, for water for those camping. Uh, it has a 50 inch light bar and a 2.4 by 2.4 just full drive awning uh, to keep me dry from uh, those uh, rainy days. Inside the back of the vehicle I have some custom built drawers from Full Ball 4 Drawers which houses all my recovery gear and uh, camping uh, equipment that I need. Uh, also has a MSA drop down slide for my uh, 65 litre Waco fridge freezer. Inside the front of the vehicle it has all the switches for the uh, front and rear ARB lockers and the compressor. Uh, also has all the switches for the two light bars and uh, the driving lights. Uh, the UHF radio uh, and, and digital radio which I upgraded from the standard uh, radio that was in the vehicle. Well that's about all the modifications uh, and accessories that I've done to, to the vehicle since having it. Uh, there's not a lot left on my uh, wish list to, to do. Uh, it's really just the maintenance of the vehicle now uh, to keep it uh, going. A uh, uh, few of the uh, trips I'd like to do uh, going forward again, uh, I'm looking to uh, do Cape York again, uh, obviously head down to Tasmania, uh, tackle the tracks down there and then hopefully across uh, the, the top end uh, of WA through the Kimberleys. Uh, but all in all uh, it's a, a tough tough rig, uh, it's getting me to all the places that I like to go. So I hope you enjoyed uh, you know, the details of my vehicle and hope to see you out there sometime. <laughs>